my beloved students today we are again here to discuss some important topics on pharmaceutical marketing management and i am dr abhijit majumdar working as professor and director of noida institute of engineering and technology greater noida now in the previous classes we have discussed about what product line means what product mix means in that context i have discussed in great detail about the various phases of product life cycle now uh, product life cycle as we know that basically there were four phases introduction growth stationary as well as the stage of decline but whenever we are talking in terms of product life cycle the first and the foremost task is a product is to be framed now whenever we are talking in terms of framing a product or a development of product we have to be very sure of that the parameters the likings which the customers have given the preference which the customers have given they must be incorporated during the new product development and after the new product has been developed the first and foremost task which we need to do is we need to position the product that is what strategies you should take whenever you are positioning a product in the market or what precautions which we need to take care of whenever you are positioning the product now let us first see how we define the term product positioning product positioning is defined as a process which is used to find out how to best advertise for the product specifications to the target customers based on the requirement of the consumers based on the competitor pressure based on the existing channels of distribution as i have told you that in a marketing team product management is a very important aspect which is gradually importance nowadays now whenever we are doing a product positioning we have to see how to best advertise for our product specification to our target customers customers has given you a requirement they have given you that i want the pen of black color whether it is i want a gel pen of black color this is the maximum price i can afford now product positioning means you are placing the product in front of the customer the way you arrange the way you depict is your skills in fact that is the reason why marketing is a skill marketing is an art now product positioning therefore is the process to find out how to advertise best for the product specification to their target customers based on the consumer requirement competitor pressure because you know that already in the market there are a large number of competitor products which are there so there is an existing pressure from the competitors product which you need to combat which you need to counteract and you need to do to the existing channels of distribution whatever channels you are using to get or to reach to the customer that you have to utilize product positioning is providing information that where your product is suitable in the market it provides the information that your product is better than the competitors product in fact this is the theme of the product positioning 
this is the theme of product positioning that is it must provide an information that how is your product better from that of competitors product. Why the customer will go for your product rather than the product of other competitors. So, the importance of product positioning is in this current context that it is the capability of the company to affect the market perception by its product. It should touch the customers, it should touch the value of the customers by their product. It is the capability of the company to affect the market perception by its product. Clear, brief, significant product positioning also help to promote the product without putting too much expenditure on the advertisement. If your idea is clear, if you are focused, you can very easily position your product amongst the customer without investing much on the advertisement. So, the characteristics of product positioning includes or the objective mainly means that the product is to keep or maintain your product on the top of choice of consumers. See customers are your focus, they are having a preferred choice range, choice list and it is your skill your managerial skill, your marketing skill which will help your product to be in the top priority amongst the customer and it is the main purpose of product positioning. So, the purpose of product positioning is to keep or maintain your product on the top of choice of customers. I hope it is very clear by now what product positioning means, what is the basic purpose or why product positioning is so, so, so important in the marketing system nowadays. Now, what are the objectives? Why? Why do we want to go for product positioning at all? The objectives of successful positioning are number one, the product should be differentiated from the product of your competitors. How well your efforts are, how nicely framed your strategies are, it will tell how easily the customers are in a position to differentiate your product from the products of other competitors. Your objective at the long run is at the end of the day is the customer must be loyal, customers must select your competitor, your product and not the competitor's product. That is you need to dislodge the competitor's product from the mind of the customer and it is this product positioning which helps you, which guides you to achieve this goal. So, product should be differentiated from the competitors, the product should fulfill the important criteria of the customer buying. See when a customer buy, when you buy, there are certain criteria you keep in mind what are they? They include mainly what benefits you get by paying for the product. Everybody keeps that concept in their mind. Whenever you are paying, you have certain expectations in return and that expectations is fulfilled by the product. So, 
the product should fulfill the important criteria of the customer buying. Third, product positioning objective is it should very articulately describe the company and the product. That is, the third objective of product positioning is it should articulate the importance of either the product or the description of the company. I hope you have clearly understood what basically product positioning means, what are the objective of product positioning and why it is so much important in the current context nowadays. We are now moving on to the development of newer product that is new product development. There are a number of steps which are very closely interrelated with each other which I am going to describe which I am going to discuss with you. So, the new product decision begins with the generation of a new idea, new idea generation development of product starts from ideas and concept. First of all the idea needs to come up in your mind and from that idea itself that will materialize that will be depicted in the form of a product. You may have several thousands and thousands of ideas all will not be generated into a product. So, this leads to step number 2 what we are calling as screening of ideas a very crucial step in the development of a new product that is what we are calling as screening of ideas. This step is very crucial to ensure that the unsuitable, unrealistic ideas and concept they are weeded out or rejected. That is in stage number 2, those ideas which are not realistic, not good, not effective has to be removed and the ideas should be considered objectively by the group of the customers feedback what they have given. If this stage goes wrong, if you commit a mistake in this particular screening of idea stage, you will land up with a product which will not satisfy the need of the customer. So, automatically the money which you have invented will go in vain the investment which you had made in terms of money, in terms of time, in terms of your effort everything will go in vain. So, you need to be very very skeptical at this particular stage that is screening of ideas. After your ideas are screened you are remaining with some concrete clear idea then you have to convert that idea into a concept that is the finally screened idea has to be converted from the idea to a concept that is conceptualization or development of the concept. And once you are developing that idea into a concept it contains in depth information which can be visualized by the customer. It have to have a very thorough information, so that the customers are very clear cut, they are very focused what they want. Now, we are going on for the stage number 4 analysis of the business. 
So, once your concept has been developed, they have been finalized. Now, you have to do a business case study to see whether the concept which you are generating will be fruitful for your company. That is, if the company invest millions and billions of dollars in the new idea, whether they will get the return on investment. That is, the financial benefit of that newly originated concept of this newly validated concept has to be thoroughly screened out. That is, in this particular stage number 4, you have to analyze your business. After finalizing your concept, a business case needs to keep together to consider whether the new product will be gainful for you in the long run. You have to see its validity, you will have to see its financial profitability. If you are through with stage number 4, now you proceed to stage number 5. What is stage number 5? Stage number 5 is develop your product. So, in stage number 4, you are seeing that I have an idea, I have a concept, this concept is feasible, financially lucrative. Okay, let us move on for materialization of that particular concept, that is what we are calling here as product development. Now, whenever you are developing a product particularly in the R and D sector, in the production area, the, if the new product is approved, if the new product is developed, it will be approved for marketing and technical development stage. That is technically you have to develop the product. Whenever we are going for technical development, it is different from the consumer testing in the sense that it introduces the product that follows a proposed plan of marketing. That is what we are calling as test marketing. You have developed a new product. This product has been developed for you. Now, you have to go for test marketing. A small miniature project has to be done up. When a concept is treated and developed, the final decisions are required to move the product from the newly born stage to the introductory stage what I discussed in the last class. That is the first stage of product life cycle. So, when the concept is tested and developed, final decisions are required to move the product to its introductory stage in the market. And when the product is about to enter into the introductory stage in the market, a detailed plan of launching, a detailed marketing plan of launching should be ready at your hand. Because if this plan is very carefully framed, if this launching plan is very carefully framed, it will lead to the vital success of your product. So, the plan must be very, very carefully framed. Now, what are the importance, significance of new product development? First, it is used to meet newer competition. 
you want to enter into the market where there are existing competitors. So, you need to have a product which must have certain unique features. Two, it is to meet the customer needs and the customer wants what they have shown you the whenever you have carried out a market research amongst the customer to develop a newer product. So, the second importance of new product development is to meet the consumer needs and consumer wants. Three, sorry, three, it should increase your profit because you have invested a huge money to prepare a newer item. Profitability increase is a must. And number four, to avoid threat from the competitors. You have to develop certain product, you have to add certain features, so that your product is devoid of, they are not attacked or this product is finding a certain unique market segment protected from all threats from the substituted product. Just to see it is basically a sort of a 180 degree cycle. Idea generation stage number 1, idea screening stage number 2, concept development and testing stage number 3. market strategy for the number 4, these two are more or less linked, analysis of the business stage number 5, development of the product, product development stage number 6, stage number 7, test marketing and lastly is final commercialization of your product quickly going through the new product development process, generation of idea. Again, there are two sources, one is an internal source and other one is external source. Internal source, every organization they are having a research and development team who are continuously having brainstorming sessions to create newer products. External idea obtained from the competitors obtained from the customers, obtained from the distributors, suppliers, company staff, sales force, consultants that is the various stakeholders. They are giving you a feedback by which you are generating newer ideas. Whenever we are doing idea screening process, they are screened with the resource capability, policies, objectives which are there. <coughs> Next, concept development and testing. <coughs> now, this product concept provides a detailed version of the new products along with its uses and benefits. <coughs> the physical prototypes or drawing are generally prepared, concept testing, customers are asked to evaluate the picture or the description of the product. The concept clarity, uniqueness and attractiveness of your concept is measured through a potential customer feedback. This is how concept development and testing is generally done. Then the market strategy development, it is developed in terms of the target market, product positioning, sales, market share, profit for the first few years. We also consider the product price, distribution and promotional budget which we have particularly during the first year, long run sales, 
profit goals and marketing mix strategies they are all considered under marketing strategy development process now the product concept is converted into a physical product prototype lab tests are done to see whether the product is a viable product then in stage number 7 in market in test marketing the sample production in limited scale branding packaging labeling are done the customer preference likes and dislikes to the product are tested we go on for a trial purchase adoption and frequency of purchase is is generally observed for a new product finally in the case of commercialization scale we go for full scale production commercially launched on the target market implementation of pricing distribution and promotion and strategy are closely observed with this we are coming to the end of the new product development followed by the product positioning thank you my dear students for your patient hearing thank you